If you're asking the question, how do I get spyware? Well, there's a number of ways that spyware can get onto your machine. Typically, it's when um, you're installing new applications. You may not be quite sure what they are, and they may contain extra applications which will be spyware. And sometimes it'll actually even say it's installing spyware. Um, it'll be in the end user license agreement that you usually just click through really quick. It'll actually say in there it's actually installing um, all these other software applications. But not many people tend to read that. So that's how one way they can legitimately put spyware on your machine. Um, and they also do it illegitimately. Um, a lot of companies will, um, they can directly attack your machine um, if it's got um, open ports, they can get in through that. But typically, spyware is not the same class as viruses. So it's not generally as. Uh, intended as a threat. Generally spyware is just there to monitor what you do on your computer. Um, so what the main reason you get it is through installing applications. Uh, another way you can get it is through email. Uh, somewhere, someone might send you something um, which will take you to a web page um, and in so that will install spyware on your machine uh, from that web page or they might uh, in an email get you to run some sort of application uh, directly which will in turn install spyware again and spyware is generally it doesn't have to be a full-blown install application it can just be one file that gets into your Windows directory and from there it will be able to launch itself and monitor your system activities so the best way to get rid of spyware is to just run a third-party anti-spyware software and that will scan your machine and then you'll be able to see exactly what spyware, what cookies, what that sort of thing, what's on your machine.